The drowned rat sailor we have here, don't we? Still, better off than... Name's Lynch. I'm down here from the First Light Settlement. Wanted to assess the impact of that storm that wrecked your ship. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Even under such ugly circumstances. Wherever you come from, it's lost to you. This is your home now, Eternum. An isle of treacherous shores and lost memory. Nothing as it was in the old. Death itself is a different creature here, and a finicky one. You've come back to life unscathed, but your crewmates and those from other ships weren't so lucky. They'll be wandering the beach as the soulless droned now. Right thing is to try and put them back to rest. It's better if you do it. It wasn't a pleasant task, but it was the right thing. Helps protect the First Light Settlement, too. The drowned sometimes wander quite a ways. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? You're probably cold, exhausted, and half-starved after what you've been through. Don't go playing tough now. You need to learn how to survive out here. Gather some flint and wood and make yourself a skinning knife at the fire. Got an eye for this, it seems. Now's time to make yourself a little feast. Why, these boars around here can be right vicious. But they make for a fine meal. Hunt one down, butcher it up, and cook yourself some rations. Mm. My mouth is watering just thinking about those steaks. <laughs> Beats having hard tack any day of the week. The smell of fresh meat on an open fire, does it? <laughs> I'm starting to get right hungry myself. At any rate, now you can at least feed yourself. <sighs> You'll be wanting to visit the First Light Settlement yourself soon enough. But there's more work to be done here first, after that storm. That storm was corruption. Pure evil. Takes out any ship approaching. And any tries to leave. But this one today was the worst I've seen. Your ship was just one of many to get smashed. And we need to check each of them. It's tradition in First Light to keep record of all the shipwrecks on this shore. A memorial of sorts. Go on out, look for any legacy items you can scrounge. If there's any corruption lingering, steer clear of it.
These'll do perfect. You've done a good turn for the memory of those ships. And for First Light. I wish we could just head back to the settlement now, but we can't turn a blind eye to the truth. Yes, and corruption's the real threat to watch for. Any trace is a scourge to the settlement. I fear some remnant may be lingering in Tide Swallow Cave. I hate to ask a newcomer, but you handle yourself well enough. Go take a look then. Be warned though, corruption can be right dangerous. was right, wasn't it? There was corruption in that cave. You're brave to have dealt with it. First Light cannot afford to ignore this threat anymore. If corruption gets a foothold on the beach, it'll be at the settlement walls in a matter of days. You're right, of course. The folks at the settlement should start making preparations. This could get right ugly. The constable should hear about this straight away. Yes, you've done as much as I could ask down here. Give Constable Oaks this message and then take a well-deserved rest. You've earned it. It's always a treat to see a new face. Whether you are new to Eternum or simply from another settlement, you are welcome to First Light. Oh dear, then the storm we saw out there was as bad as it seemed. The shattered mountain has erupted as well. Lynch said this day would come. It seems she was right. It's funny to recall. There was even a crazy old man warning us about corruption years ago. Hmm. 
<laughs> Reveries aside, we'll need to think carefully about how to proceed. Oh, it was decades ago. He was stark raving mad, but kind of sweet at the same time. I heard a rumor he was wandering around Monarch's Bluffs these days. He's probably become lost by now. I'll begin formulating a strategy. We shouldn't rush into anything. I take it you are to whom Watcher Lynch referred in her message. Then the settlement is already in your debt. If you will, please inform Magistrate Bond of this news, and then visit the inn. We all need our rest, don't we? Forgive me, a, a bit busy just now. First the storm, then Shattered Mountain, and I'm getting no direction or help whatsoever. Oak sent you. Better late than never, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> Don't suppose she gave you any further instruction, did she? Typical. She probably needs to consider her plan. I'll do everything I can to ensure First Light is prepared if this situation deteriorates. Let's just hope it's enough. Good. The constable doesn't realize the urgency here, but I do. We must get to work straight away. You're the one. Sounds like you're capable enough. Of course she did. Very well. I suppose that makes sense. Check in with Inkeep Fairfax and get a room. Go... Welcome to the Everlasting Torch. We are always burning for you. You here to check in? Be my guest. Literally. There you are. I was worried I might have run you off. I'm sorry if I seem overly hasty. It's just that this really is an emergency. See? You get it. Why doesn't Constable Oaks? I do hope you'll stick around. I would never consider living anywhere other than First Light. This was once the greatest territory in all Eternum, you know. It's a, uh, long story. But indeed, once our markets were packed solid, you should visit the trading post yourself to see the current state of things. Check out the storage space available to you as well. As you see, it may have lost its luster. But we have everything one could need in first light. With decisive action, we can make this territory stronger than ever. I will continue to do what I can here, but ultimately it's up to Constable Oaks to rally the settlement. I should certainly hope so. Sylvia's had enough time to develop her strategy. Please go and inquire as to her intentions. If she still has nothing to say, feel free to hover about until she does. Ah, oh, it's nice to see you again. I hope you're enjoying your time in First Light, despite all these fears about the corruption. Ah, Magistrate Bond is getting impatient, isn't she? <laughs> Always driven to action. It's one of her strengths. But sometimes we need to think first. One truth that never changes is that the First Light Settlement always needs supplies. That's the spirit. Even under dire circumstances, slow and steady is the course. <laughs> I would welcome your help. Gather wood, stone, and rawhide, and then refine them. Every little bit helps.
From the first moment, I knew you'd prove to be an excellent addition to our community. Trust is the foundation for everything we do here. Anytime you fancy, visit me, or, or the town board outside, and take any task that suits you. In the meantime, there's more you can do with these refined materials. Of course, in addition to your other fine attributes, you seem to be good with your hands, and we could use more of that. Take these materials to Ji Hoon Kim, our resident artificer. He'll show you what to do. Did you talk to Artificer Kim? He usually spends his time near the wood shop to the south. Ah, it is very nice to meet you. If Sylvia believes you are good people, then that is good enough for me. It's my belief that everyone in First Light should know their way around the Forge. I've always thought so. And if rumors about a surge in corruption are to be believed, the settlement will need to increase its weapon stores. If you want to contribute to our defenses, this is one way you can do so. Then I shall teach you how to forge a simple blade. Take this satchel of ore, open it, and smelt the ore into ingots. Then take up the hammer, and make yourself a sword. What have we here? A fine blade indeed. I see the makings of an artisan in this already. Well done. I did not notice it when you first approached, but just now I saw it quite clearly. You have a potent aura, my friend. The course of your destiny will affect that of many others. I do too. You know who you should speak with. Albert Riches, our resident survivalist, but so much more than that. Yes, you should go introduce yourself. Here's an intrepid young soul, if I've ever seen one. A coincidence you show up on the same day as the Shattered Mountain erupts? I think not. These are strange times in First Light. Much changes afoot. Got to keep your head about you. It is, isn't it? Well, here's a question for you, friend. If this place comes crashing down, how do you see yourself handling it? Exactly. You survive, you go on. But do you have what it takes? Let's find out. What say you set yourself a camp outside these walls and hunt some wolves from the local dens? I'd like to see it. Ah! <laughs> 
Here comes someone with a little swagger. And something from those wolves, too, I suspect. Yes, this one's got what it takes, sure enough. I had a feeling that would be the case. Rumors say that corruption has spread inland. Some type of breach is opening up everywhere. We should have started preparing many moons ago. As it should be. If Magistrate Bond has heard about these breaches, she'll be half mad with worry. Go ask if you can help. Don't be a stranger, though. I want to speak to you again. There you are. I was starting to worry. Have you heard these rumors of corruption breaches opening up everywhere? Of course. He probably foresaw all this. That man is touched, I tell you. If news of these corruption breaches opening up everywhere is true, we need all the help we can get. You've surely noticed by now the presence of the Marauders, the Syndicate, and the Covenant in town. Recently, these groups have become quite influential. You're right, of course. Whether the Constable approves or not, after you speak with them, you'll have to choose for yourself which one will make the best ally. Oh, and do make sure to check in with me again afterwards. We seek and share the inspiration of the spark. Hope is for all people, and in all people we nourish hope. We, Covenant, uphold this sacred duty to safeguard this spark. This is the light that burns in the soul of every person. Without belief, without purpose, this spark extinguishes, and one becomes but an empty husk. The Syndicate is the only lifeline out of this cesspool. I don't know if I'd be here were it not. The Syndicate offers only this. The pursuit of truth. Raw, bracingly cold truth. If you prefer the warm blanket of denial, or the intoxicating elixir of conquest, choose another. Like you still got your sea legs? Well, you'll be right at home here with us. We marauders are pirates! But on land, hi, we marauders are a hardy bunch. We see this land here is ripe for the taking, and it's going to be us ending up on top. Might may not make right, but it sure is better than having your fate decided by others. <laughs> Meet with each of the three factions and decide which is best. Sadly, in this day and age, I don't think you'll get far without aligning with one of them. Yes, the factions can be quite infantile, but as I'm sure you've noticed, they're very influential around here. <laughs> 